Sometimes upgrades really do make a difference and I think no more so than in the kitchen. Over the years, each of us have been puttering around and discovering what we like to cook and we've both fallen in love with certain small tools or things that have just made a difference and made us feel more empowered. So we started talking about like, what are your kitchen island tools? Like the things that you would never want to live without no matter how small you downsize to, what's always coming with you to every kitchen. And we thought, why not share our favorites? So let's take a look. don't understand what it is about human nature that uses a dull knife when it could have a sharp one. <laughs> Amen. And or decides to put up with something just because maybe it was given to you as a gift. Or, or it's the thing that you had in your first apartment when you were 19 in college right. and then you've taken the same bowl that's like <laughs> chipping off or falling apart and you take it and there's like tape around the handle of something and it moves from kitchen to kitchen to yeah. kitchen. <laughs> I want to give them a, an example of mm. what it is I'm talking about. Mm. So as we're listing out our favorites that we are, are desert island things, we'd want to take Never with us. Never live without it I again. don't want to live without it. This is a classic example. Yeah. Janelle's the one that found these and I am obsessed. So they became on my list. We're going to go my list and her list. We all love all the things. But we do, but she's going to share her favorites. I'm going to share mine. And this is literally one of my favorites. This is a set of magnetized measuring cups. And the reason they're so nice, I'm going to try not to clatter too much, <laughs> is that most of the Yankee janky things that are out there have the big ring. The stupid and so rings. you're doing something and you need a quarter cup and you've got a cup and a half a cup and a third of a cup dangling everywhere. And because these have handy little magnets, you don't have that, so you can do it. And what I really like is cleanup is a breeze. Super you easy. Stack them. They, they all the stick together. Stick to it, and you can put it away. And there's also a set of measuring spoons, the same. So, like, if I need a quarter cup, this is it. I don't have to have the whole freaking thing. And then thing. it breaks in the dishwasher, and then they're floating around anywhere, everywhere, and then you can't find them. And so a lot of them are like rounded in weird ways, so you can't fully trust like how accurate they are. Yeah. And I love these because they have like a sturdy flat bottom and a sturdy flat top. So if you're leveling something off, it does, seems like a small thing, but it makes a huge it's difference. It's a huge thing. So honestly, upgrade number one on recommend. Charlene's recommend list, these. Seriously. To that same end, I think, you know, you get used to things and especially like, you know those like unitaskers and we talk a lot about like, oh, it's silly to have like a, you know, an apple core when you can just corn it. But there are certain things that are just standard unitaskers, like a vegetable peeler. And for me, it was always a juicer, right? And the things would go everywhere and there's like, you have the this kind and the that kind and it would just never, it was like, this is just one of those things that's always going to suck. I got really into America's Tets Kitchen a few years ago, and a lot of these come from there. I absolutely love them, and I highly recommend going and checking out all Let's of their, their equipment videos. But they turned me on to this amazing juicer, and it doesn't seem like a big deal, but this guy is so hefty, and it's so sturdy, and you put the, it, like, it gets every single drop out with very little effort. It's super easy to clean, and it was just like, and the things don't get everywhere. You don't feel like you're wasting something. And it's like once you have it, and I think it cost me like, I don't know, like 12 bucks. But like once you have it, you never think about it again. It just exists. You can rely on it and you can move on with your life. And I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. We use it almost every, every day. day. I mean, honestly, we will admit my husband makes <laughs> cocktails in the afternoon. A lot of juices so, for cocktails. Yes, it is <laughs> awesome. Next on Charlene's must-have list. In fact, truth be told, if I'm going to an Airbnb, <laughs> I will pack this knife. Sometimes, this is really insider baseball. I hope none of our friends are listening. Sometimes if you're going to someone's house that you know they might have dull knives, you will give them this as a As a house just, 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 just and then you cook with good knives. <laughs> and I will ship them these knives from Amazon as my gift because I don't like cooking with dull knives. Now, the key though is, is that, and the reason why I'm recommending these is because they're not expensive. They're super In fact, cute. I was going to Thailand and a chef friend of mine 
said this was years ago before this would have been in the 90s yeah before real amazon ordering was easy um i and i was going to thailand and he said he was a chef and he said oh my gosh if you can get kiwi knife brand go look and so i was on a mission and i went to every hardware store i went to every cooking store and i bought a gazillion of these things and i gave them away as gifts to everybody i probably had 20 to 30 knives. I did have a nice little note from the TSA <laughs> saying, what the hell are you doing with all these knives? They didn't say that, but they did give me a little, your bags have been inspected mess. The bag full of knives? I can't imagine why. <laughs> but seriously, these guys are so sharp. And honestly, Janelle has some knives that where they've spent, she spent a little bit more money. Not and that's that much money, fine. But, a more. but they're a little bit of an upgrade to this, but this will cut anything and they stay remarkably sharp. And sharp if you're like me. me, and I have a husband who thinks this is a screwdriver, and or a an tool, ice chipper. or an ice chipper. He's gotten better. He has, but <laughs> these aren't expensive to replace, and so uh, if the tips get whatever, I don't have to get mad at That's him. That's why you take them with you on a trip. Yeah, and I don't have to get mad at him, or annoyed with him, because it's just like, ah, it's okay. Life is life, use it, be happy. But these knives, honestly, game changer. So what's next on your list of must have, never leave home without? <laughs> so a lot of these things are small, cheap little upgrades that are not really a big deal. Every once in a while, it's worth going ahead and splurging. And I know that I'm a nerd who <laughs> thinks for years about like the fancy cooking implements that she wants to get versus like something else. But if you are like me, if you've ever, you know, watched chefs on the internet anywhere, everyone recommends this one thermometer. It's called the TheraPen. It's not cheap. It's like $100, but it comes with a lifetime warranty. It comes with a certification of its exact temperature read and a pledge that it, they will fix it if anything ever happens. It's just magical. And it was one of those things where I was like, is this really worth it? Like surely a thermometer is a thermometer. And so for years I would buy like the dupes and like the, the copies that I'd try. And then I was just getting so frustrated and they would break or they'd be inaccurate or they would die on me. So finally, uh, like last year, I just decided, screw it. I'm going to dive in. And I don't know what took me so long. It's amazing. It's I'm left-handed and a lot of them like are weirdly biased towards left-handed people, which is a <laughs> pet peeve of mine. It flips in both directions. It just, it's, it's oven safe. It's good for hot temperatures. It just, it's worth it. And I think sometimes you just gotta take the plunge and maybe you put it on a Christmas list or you, you know, put it on a registry or you plan for it. But there are some times when it's worth just buying the thing that's going to last you the rest of your life. And I think it's a philosophy too. Like sometimes people go, Oh, that's too much money. I don't want to spend it. Then you put up with crap products that if you had just done it, by the time you've replaced two of them, you've spent as much as you would have probably yeah. spent on a good quality something. And sometimes it's just worth doing it. And at the end of the day, the way I look at it is I can always give up something. Like I don't have to go out to dinner or sure. whatever. And I can set aside that money to do something that's gonna, in the long run, yeah. be much more useful to me. And I love a bargain. And there's a lot of things that are not worth it, but that's definitely one of them. What's that next for you? Well, next on my list ah, is, what are these called? Bench scraper. Bench scraper. I always thought these were fussy. I thought they were just like for pastries and I'm not a baker like this one is, but I'm telling you this bench scraper. Once you realized it became out, your like second hand. It becomes a hand. <laughs> now it does have the measuring. So if you're doing baking, it's there, but that's not how I use it. I use it as my scoop, and honestly, I don't know how I do without it. So I chop, 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 scoop, and it saves me trips from the sink to the stove. I love this. And it's and a then, little bit sharp, so if you need yeah. to like cut something off, you can, but it's really just a handy maneuver yeah. around the kitchen. And I said I'm not a baker, but I do like making pie doughs, mm. and I love making gallettes. Yeah. And so, and other things that, you know, rolls, cinnamon rolls that have dough that are on the counter. And telling you, this thing is magic. So I wouldn't be without it in yeah. any house I go to. It's gonna come with me. The other thing you always love to do is make gremoladas, like mm -hmm. little peels and little toppings. And they're just, you know, they get on a cutting board, there are little tiny bits, and it's just a mess and it's hard to maneuver. Yeah. This little guy, because it has the sharp edge, it just, and you feel like Julia Child whisking around the kitchen again, which is my ultimate goal in life. <laughs> All right, it's another one of those things that came from 
watching a lot of things on the internet. I'm watching a lot of chefs that I love. And everyone kept saying, don't use, you know, a straight spatula or a pie server or anything. Use a fish spatula for everything. And I remember thinking like, What's that? I didn't grow up with that in the kitchen. That wasn't something I, I didn't know have. That. And like, why I don't cook a lot of fish, or why would I need a fish spatula specifically? But it was like, you know, like 14 bucks. And so I'm like, okay, I trust Carla, my love. I'll give her a try. So I bought one two years ago. Freaking changed my life. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's just, it's the perfect tool. It's the perfect tool for everything. It's the perfect tool for cooking in a pan. It's a perfect tool for putting things on and in and out of the oven. It has this tiny little lip, which makes getting everything out really easily because it has a slot. You can pull something out of hot oil. It's the right length, so you're not too close to things. It's really easy to clean. It, it is perfect. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's kind of the perfect piece of engineering. Enough so that about two months ago, we were using this for literally almost every meal. Sweet, savory, it didn't matter. It was constantly dirty. And I would have to look in like three different places because <laughs> everyone was using it and I could never find it. So like, this is dumb. So I bought two more so that we would have an ample amount all around the kitchen and I never had to hunt for it again. Get one, it'll save your life. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> So, if you like cast iron, mm. which you should. Which we do. Um, keeping them seasoned is not difficult, but it is something that you have it to pay attention to. It feels intimidating. It yeah. feels like one of those scary things in the kitchen. So, this stainless steel mesh, like I don't know. Chain mail. Chain mail thing. I don't even know what it's called is your best friend in keeping these pots and pans going. So really all I do is put like a little salt on the bottom um, and then I just, and it's magic. It cleans it the cleans grimiest the grime. Ugliest stuff that's on that. And honestly, since we've gotten this, I think that the upkeep of our, our I'm not having to season yeah. our cast iron pans nearly as often. The upkeep is tremendous. And it makes it so quick to clean that it's not like this big thing. So you, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I used to like leave dirty cast iron on the stove for a couple of days because it was like, oh, it's such a pain to clean, which is dumb and not super sanitary. <laughs> but if but you have this, plus it feels like a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's important. The other upgrade that it was one of those things that we always had like a good enough option is kitchen shears. Mm -hmm. And I always have like, you know, like a scissors around for twine or for things. And then it's like, oh, this is one of those cheap things. And I never really thought much about it. And then uh, about two years ago, we had a couple who was good friends staying with us for a while. And so they wanted to give a present. So they had been at the house for like a couple of months. Um, and so their daughter worked for Cutco and they're like, oh, we have the most amazing kitchen shears. They have a lifetime warranty. They're incredible, it'll change your life. And I'm thinking like, I mean, okay. So they gave them to them, it's us as a thank you present, which I thought was very nice. But it's like, oh, it's scissors. Like how, what a difference does scissors make? It Turns makes a big out, difference. Big difference. They're just really amazing. First off, they come apart really easily. So if you're like hacking up like chicken skin, for example, and you want to actually sanitize them, they're really easy to fully clean fully sanitize and not worry about any contamination, which I think is kind of a big deal. And then they're just really hefty. They're easy to work with. Oh, did I do it? Aha! <laughs> easy to put back together. They will cut through bone, they cut through skin, they cut through, you know, anything. And they just give you this, like, again, it's like one of those things where like, once they're there, you never have to think about it again. You never have to worry about it and they last forever and they're just great. Now, these are a little bit hard to get a hold of, and they're a little bit more expensive. Well, they're not hard to get a hold of, but just expensive. Yeah. So you have, you have to find a college kid who's making money with Cutco. <laughs> and because we use so many scissors, we've been testing out different uh, like bargain options to see if there's an alternative. So I found these on Amazon that was recommended to me, and I actually really like them. They're, they're really hefty. They have a little nutcracker on them, which are nice. So I'll link these as an option too, because basically, it doesn't have to be the amazing like mega guys in this case, but I think. Think about your scissors and upgrade them and you'll just be so much happier. Investing in a kitchen shear makes a big it's difference. difference. And you don't realize how much you use it. Yep. Last for me are, honestly guys, <laughs> if I could tell you a secret. Game changer. This is it. Oh, it is. How did you even come up with this idea? I don't know, to be honest. I was looking for parchment paper and it's expensive when it comes in a box. And I had remembered that when we used to own a country inn and we had a restaurant, that they had sheets like this available. So I thought, 
I'm not part of a restaurant, so I'm not getting things at wholesale, but surely this is available for the home cook too. And voila, Amazon has them. I will link and you're gonna thank me because these puppies live and there's not a single day that we don't use this. No. And we've had this, I looked back. Yeah. It was like 2021 I bought. Same box. The same box. And we, and we use, use them it all the time. I'm telling you, you want these things. It keeps cleanup going. It's so much cheaper than, you know, when you're doing cookies, obviously you use them, but I do them for everything. We, we put meats on them. Anything we put that you would them. have to clean. I mean, we wash our pans, but it's still, it, it makes it so much easier. You don't have to cut. You don't have to worry about folds. They're the perfect size, but then it goes down for everything. So there's no mess. There's no grime. If there's something gets baked on or sometimes I'll put it under something that's yeah. going in the oven. It's just, they're perfect. And then we also use it so, to wrap our cheeses yeah, well, in the, in the and fridge. This was the salt. So we started using these guys and then I would just cut them in half. We'd have the leftover cheese and we'd put them in our refrigerator in a baggie so that it kept it clean. You know, when you don't use up all your cheese, it's a great way to store this. Yeah. So that's what started. And then I got to looking at it and was like, let me see if there's another solution that we don't waste so much. So we found a smaller sheet. A, so this is for a half so sheet and this, this is a quarter is, sheet. Yeah, a quarter sheet pan. And sometimes you have the small stuff. So if you're in an apartment where you don't use as big of uh, pieces like we do, it fits these tiny little sheet, sheet pans and voila, you got the same thing. And it becomes so much handier when you're rewrapping cheeses or if you've got salami that was left over yeah. from a charcuterie plate or prosciutto that you haven't used, you can line the, the prosciutto. It's just like being at a deli and it just preserves everything better. So honestly, do yourself a favor. And one of these is just, they're not expensive. No. They last forever. I just don't so know what, what we would do without them. I, I'd have to do the math, but my guess is you'd have to buy, I don't know, we have to do the math. Rolls and rolls and rolls. Rolls of the stupid stuff that is <laughs> very little and it, and it takes up space. And it takes up time. Yeah, so do yourself a favor, get it. So last for me is, might be a slight departure because if you know us at all, we really love wooden cutting boards. Enough so that we have a whole wall of them in our kitchen and we love collecting them and I love using them. I love going from chopping to laying something out for a board. I think they're great. I think everyone should have wooden cutting boards. However, sometimes, especially if you're in a small kitchen, you need work surface. Right. You need something that can go in the dishwasher and that you can sanitize well if you're working with meats or whatever. And you just need room. And this is one of those things where I always had like little plastic cutting boards, you know, like, you don't think about it. You have like a cutting board. And I, um, years ago, I was watching Binging with Babish, which is a great show. And he was going on about early on about his favorite implements. And he's like, you know, as soon as you go from this size of a work surface to this size of a work surface, everything becomes easier. And I was like, you know what? I've never thought about that before. And so he recommended this wonderful OXO cutting board. And it's just perfect. It is. It's a big size. It's got channels in case something drips. It can go on either side. It's got feet on either side, so it's super secure. So sometimes even if I'm not using the board, but I need something that isn't gonna move around, I'll put it down. It just, it holds up. It's just small enough that it, we can wash it in our, in our dishwasher. It makes a big surface. If you need an extra surface, like over a sink or something, it's just excellent. And it doesn't seem like a big deal. It doesn't seem like, like an obvious thing, yeah. but suddenly when I have like room to work, now I can keep all my mise en place in different areas and then I can take it over to the stove and it just changed the way that I moved around the kitchen. A little bit closer to Julia Child. So <laughs> that's my recommendation. So there you have it. My five, Janelle's five. Well, just a minute. What's that? Let's be honest. We couldn't fully decide on five, so we kind of wanted to sneak in a six. We're gonna cheat. <laughs> so we realized it was when we were thinking about the different implements that we pull out a lot and we use all the time. There are two sets of bowls that we use all the time, so we decided to sneak in a sixth one. So we're gonna go get them. <laughs> so these are both bowl sets that I registered for at my wedding seven years ago, and they've held up beautifully. We use them all the time. If you ever want a video on the things that I got when I registered that I've still held up and that I use all the time, I'll make that video. But they've become really handy 
and it's one of those things that you think, oh, like something will last for a couple of years or whatever. But we go to these sets. We use them a lot. All the time. Why? Well, these are handy just for mixing because of the design, because they don't slip anywhere. They've got a big rim. They're great if you need to whisk something because they hold their shape really well. They're microwave safe, they're dishwasher safe. They don't move around and they stitch every perfect size from really little to like really hefty. And they just, it's all the sizes that you think you need for all of the different things you would ever use in a kitchen. They're perfect. And then it doesn't take a whole lot of storage space yeah. either. And then these were, also on Janelle's registry. And when she got them, I thought, why are you doing that? But honestly, these are ones we grab a hold of as well because they have all these various sizes. Yeah. And having all of this option, and they're beautiful. The design is beautiful. I think they're crate and barrel. Yeah. So um, we like having them because they're. I can mix in them rinse them out yeah. and then I can also serve like a salad. They're or, good to cook with. They're yeah. the right size and they're sturdy enough to actually mix things and dressings and little yeah. things and cook with, but then they can go right out on the table and it's perfect. Like if you're going to do like a taco bar or something, it has all the little pieces you would need for like cilantro and a crema and little things. And they're just, it takes up zero room. Yeah. They hold together really well. They're perfect. A good set of nesting bowls, honestly, upgrade and goes a long way. Why not have them be more beautiful than your grandma's stainless steel ones? Odds are that you've had the same bowl set or mismatched pile of bowls around that have gone from kitchen to kitchen. And this is one of those things that just, you don't need, we don't need any more than this. And it's perfect. So these are the little upgrades that we've had that have made a big difference. And I would love to hear if there's any gadgets or pieces or tools that you've used over the years that you wouldn't live without. Let us know in the comments because I'm always looking for new recommendations. I'd love to hear.